So hey, TF, how's it going? I know I haven't made a video in a while, um, but yes, I am still alive. <laughs> yeah, I know, sorry. Some of you guys are like, darn. But anyways, I'm gonna show you um, my collection here of Fisher Space Pens. I kind of did the air quote around collection because when I think of a collector, I think of someone who kind of, you know, hoards, if you will, all of one object and just kind of holds on to it to look at. Um, like I was, I watched the Dirty Jobs episode the other day about a guy who works and collects marbles and he has over almost about a million of them, but they're just marbles. I mean, come on, you look at them and that's all you do. Um, so I air quoted collection because yeah, I have, you know, six or seven of them, um, but I use them. They are user items. You know, I don't hold on to them and look at them and, you know, dream about them. No, I use them, right? And when they break or stop working, well, I stop using them. So these are chronologically from my left to right um, set up, well, chronologically. Uh, this is the first one I got. This is the newest one I got just about a couple hours ago. So let's start over here. This is the first pen I got. Uh, Chrome Fisher Space Pen did not come with a clip. I bought that separately. And I got this at, uh, where was it? Uh, Office Depot for about 18 bucks. And I bought it after hearing uh, Cajun Blaze's testimonial about his. Um, it was in one of his EDC uh, updates a while back. And um, I thought, you know what the heck, I'm going to buy one uh, because it sounds so freaking awesome. And I didn't buy it to really copy him. <coughs> well, sorry about that. Anyways, um, back to the pens. Um, I didn't buy it to copy him. I bought it really because of his awesome testimonial. He you know, said how awesome it was. Now, that wasn't the first time I'd heard about these pens. I've heard about them probably six or seven years ago, um, and I knew how awesome they were, and I knew what they could do. I just never, I mean, I didn't know, like, Office Depot would have them. I, you know, I thought you would have to special order them or something. Um, you know, if NASA uses them, you know, you don't think, you know, you could just buy it at your local Office Depot down the street, you know. So I thought it was a big process, but I guess not. So that's why I picked one up. Next one is nothing special. It ain't nothing fancy. It's uh, like a cherry red, but it's not really cherry red because it's actually huh, metallic red. And the only thing I don't like about this one is it has a silver tip. I would prefer a, you know, mono coloration here, all red. The silver kind of takes away from the coolness factor of the pen. And that's why this is probably my least used pen of all of these. My next pen I got at my local REI down the street, and I used to use this one a whole lot. Um, as you can tell, maybe you can't, all those gold markings are scratches. There's like a little dent right there. There's a dent right there. Can you see that one? And there's a huge crater, not a dent, a crater right there. And uh, because I shot it with an airsoft gun because I wanted to test the durability of it, and, well, it withstood the impact, but now I cannot push it down past that little dent right there because it stops the uh, this part from sliding back. So, yeah, good going ATF. The next one I got from my mama. Uh, when she got remarried last year, um, I was the man to walk her down the aisle. So she got me this one as, like, a thank you gift. And, I, you know, she knows how much I like space pens, so... It was totally awesome to uh, to open the little package and see a nice golden um, Fisher Space Pen in there. Uh, man, my fingers are covered with ink. Jeez. Anyways, um, I really like this one a lot. It looks very classy. Um, I mean, with this pen in my hand, you know, someone may mistake me for being a lawyer because it looks that nice. You know, um, and it has this, uh, I, I kind of made the term up because I didn't know what they called this. Annular knurling is the term, uh, not in focus there. I don't know if you can tell, but there's all these little rings going down. Annular means uh, ring-like, and so that's what that is, annular knurling. Same with down here on all the other pens. Right, so 
I like this one a whole lot. Um, use it again all the time. I like the gold. And again, thank you, Mama, for that pen. I got this next one also at REI. This is called the X Mark. It's about a half inch. Let me show you real quick. It's about a half inch shorter than the other ones. Whoops, see that? So uh, it's a little more compact. Um, great. I like I, what I do with this one is I like to clip it to my collar, um, and you know I have a pen readily accessible pretty much at all times right below my chin. I could just grab this, decap it, and there you go. I'm ready to write down some babe's phone number. So all right. Uh, this one is actually not a space pen. It's actually a Parker. Um, it says it right there, but again, my macro isn't the best. It says it right there, right below the tip of the uh, clip. Parker. I got this one also at um, Office Depot. This was actually 6 bucks, And uh, Parker and Fisher Space Pen refills are actually the same size. They are compatible with each other. So I just popped out the... Um, the Parker refill, set it aside in case I needed it for later use, and I popped in the Fisher Space Pen refill. And so now, a $6 pen is now a nice Fisher Space Pen. And if I need a space pen, um, you know, and I'm going somewhere, and I think I may lose the pen or whatever, I bring this one because it's only $6, and if I lose it, it don't really matter. Uh, whereas these ones are like three times the price. So... Then one of my favorite ones is the American Space Pen. <laughs> American Space Pen. Of course it's American Space Pen. The American Flag Space Pen. And uh, I like this one, well, obviously, because it has the U.S. flag on there. It looks really patriotic, and it is patriotic. So really cool. Um, you know, I'm just waiting for people to comment on this one when I whip it out because it's just so nice. You don't see anything like this um, out there. I mean, it's just so nice. 17 bucks, um, I'm, I'm, I'm knife center is where I got it. Um, six bucks, and then this one I think was 12 or 14 at REI. This one, I don't know, 20 or something. Again, I didn't buy it, so I, I don't really know. This is the one I just acquired today, a couple hours ago. There is a geocacher here in town who goes by the name of Dr. A. Um, her real name is just Angela. That's all I'm going to tell you um, because I don't want to, you know. Anyways, uh, her and I are Facebook friends, and like I said, we're also geocachers. And, um, you know, since we're Facebook friends, I see the photos that she posts. Well, she has posted pictures of these pens that she has made, and some of them are really nice looking. And so one day, I, I don't know what I said, but, you know, something to the extent of, wow, you know, would you be able to make one for me? Those are really nice. And she said, absolutely, I will. And, um, and well, here's the finished product. Um, if you heard of the Black Ice Zippo, uh, you know how it's like a black chrome? This is, that's like the color hardware she used here. Um, it's black, but at the same time, it has a chrome finish. Um, she also, you know, gave me websites to choose the hardware and the, the color here. And there's seriously probably thousands of color combinations you could do, uh, if not like millions. And I saw this green and just fell in love with it. I know you, if you guys know me well, you know I like the color red. But I saw this green and just thought it was so nice. It's like a... Uh, kind of like a dark lime green and it has this pearlescent look to it really really nice i like it a lot now she took the the fisher space pen refill out of here which i could understand because it cost oh excuse me about three or four dollars uh, but look i have plenty of refills to choose from i could probably pop the one out for my red one and put it in here um, but the refill that she has in here actually writes very smooth so i may just hold on to that one but, um, and it's, this thing here has nice knurling on it, uh, really easy to, to turn, really nice. So, I don't know if you watch my videos, but if you do, thank you, Angela. I really appreciate it. So, that's all the time I have, guys. Take care. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.